Hi there! Welcome! I'm Kristen, a camp director with Camp Galileo Anywhere, and this is Galileo Story Corner. And I want to introduce my co-host, Feathersby! Fe Feathersby? Fe Feathersby, where are you? Feathersby? Fe Feathersby? <laughs> oh, there you are! What were you doing with all of those animals? <laughs> Oh, Feathersby says she was pretending to be at a zoo. Well, you certainly had enough animals to pretend to be at a zoo. That's so cool that you were pretending to be at a zoo, Feathersby, because today we're reading a book called Frady Zoo, and it's by Thyra Heater. And in Frady Zoo, there's a little girl named Little T who pretends to go to the zoo with her family because she's feeling a little bit nervous about going to the zoo. Her family helps her be courageous, which is our mindset of the week. Let's read the book. Are you ready? Wake up, little T. Today is the perfect day for the zoo. <gasps> to the zoo we go. Hurry up. We could be the first ones there. So what if someone was afraid of going to the zoo? What? What are you afraid of? I can't remember. It's okay, little T. We won't go until we figure it out. Let's take a guess. Does it start with an A? She's being an alligator. Or B? Oh, she's being a bull. Or C? Mm, a camel. No, it's none of those three. Does it jump in the road? Can it give itself showers? Mm, an elephant. Maybe it's pink. Mm, a or very tall. <laughs> That's a giraffe. Not that tall. Or maybe a hi he he ha 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 She's being a hyena. Does it live in the tropics? Ooh, an iguana. Or gloop through the ocean? Mm, look at that jellyfish. Does it hop with a pocket? Mmm, a kangaroo. Does it roar? Mmm, a lion. Is it a monkey? No, silly. I'm braver than that. Is it one of those whales with a horn? No. Owls and towels? Ha! Huh. I'm not afraid of those. Squawk? Not afraid of those. Mmm, look at her parrot costume. Psst. No. Whoa, look at that rhino that they made out of cardboard. Still not afraid. Wow, what did they make the snake out of? Looks like paper bags and boxes and things from around their house. Wow. You are extinct and she doesn't exist. Look at that dinosaur outfit made out of newspaper and cardboard and old recycling and hangers. Mmm, and the unicorn is made out of looks like wrapping paper and ribbon and cardboard. I want to go to the zoo. Oh, look, they're being bats. Wow, look. Made out of cardboard and old umbrellas. Wriggle, wriggle, wriggle. <laughs> I think they're being worms. A Xantus? What's that? I think it's a yak. How do we make a yak? Ooh, look, their yak costume is made out of looks like laundry and newspaper horns. I'm not afraid of any of this. Ooh, look at their zebras. So, what if someone wanted to go to the zoo? Then tomorrow is the perfect day for it. She's sleeping. Oh, look, they're at the zoo. Uh-oh, I think she sees what she's scared of. Tickets? Oh, it's a lady with very long fingernails. <gasps> oh! Tickets, please. Oh, look, they're playing zoo, and she's pretending to be the lady at the tickets counter. The end. Look, she took a picture with the tickets lady. That was definitely courageous because that's what was scaring her. Wow, that book was so cool. 
I think my favorite part was not just that little T had to be courageous and face her fears through each thing potentially that she might be scared of at the zoo, but the creativity that she and her family used in creating all of those different animals was so cool. I want to read this book again and go back and look at all the different ways they created animals and maybe go make my own animal. What do you think, Feathersby? Oh, you want to make a narwhal? That's a really cool idea. Let's go get started.